Well, hey friends, welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey guys, it's been a while since we've brought to you any uh, good walleye fishing. But guys, it's November, and November means a few things. In, a, in an election year, like this crazy election year, November means some, some election craziness. I know most of us just cannot wait until Wednesday when the political ads stop running on television or on the radio. But guys, November also means deer season, which is now just a couple weeks away. But one of my favorite things about November is that every year I do a trip to Huron, Ohio, and we absolutely crush walleye in the Ohio waters of Lake Erie in November. So guys, stay with us and I think you'll enjoy this episode. Guys, as most of you already know, the weather patterns here in the north this season have been just absolutely crazy. We were up north a couple weeks ago and it was spring-like weather, unseasonably warm for 10 days straight. And it's pretty much stayed unseasonably warm for the last two or three weeks. Right. One in the box. Today's November 2nd and finally last night a cold front came through and really knocked us back to normal November temps. We woke up this morning to temps in the 40s. High today is not supposed to hit 60. So here we are down chasing walleye and we've got some pretty normal seasonable weather which kind of let me wondering what this cold front would do to the walleye fishing. But fellas, it does not appear that it has hurt the walleye fishing at all. We've had a great day today, a lot of action in the regular locations that we find fish in every year. Cold front doesn't seem like it's had any effect on these fish. We had a lot of sunshine today, so by mid morning, we did have to adjust our color patterns a little bit, but we basically found all of our fish in our typical November areas here and here on Ohio. We got a pretty quick limit in just a few hours running the usual program, mostly bandits today. Toward the end of the day, we did catch some of our fish on spoons behind dipsy divers. But for the most part, we, we pretty much ran bandits all day. Marked fish non-stop. With the, major with the majority of fish we were marking, pretty much in the middle of the water column, it was pretty easy to get bandits down and put bandits right in those fish's faces. But hey guys, it's no secret, this fall bite and this fall bite on the North Ohio shore from here on all the way over to Cleveland is just a fantastic fall bite. If you guys haven't had the opportunity to get down here and get in on some of this fantastic walleye fishing, I really encourage you to do that. It really does not get much better than this, fellas.
Hey guys, in a couple days we're gonna elect a new president and a lot of people are really holding out hope that their guy or girl will win and they're hoping that that candidate's winning will be just what the country needs. And I suppose I'm no different I am really hoping to wake up Wednesday morning and find out that President Trump is heading back to the White House. But guys, in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. In the grand scheme of things, the only thing really worthy of hope, putting our hope in, is our hope in Jesus Christ. The vast majority of the prophecies in the Bible have already been fulfilled, but there are a number of prophecies that are yet to be fulfilled and those prophecies all concern the end of time. And friends, on that final day, the only thing that's really going to matter is whether or not you've put your hope and your faith in Jesus Christ. We're all gonna face the judgment of the Lord and we will either stand redeemed by the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, those of us that have been united with him through faith or we'll stand condemned and guilty of our own sin bearing the load of our own sin so friends I hope that you've put your hope and your faith in Jesus Christ and not in anything short of that friends we really hope that you'll go over to our other channel TJO Men's Ministries we have a ton of material over there that we think you'll enjoy whether you're brand new to the faith or you're a longtime Christian. So please go over and check out TJO Men's Ministries. Leave a link right here at the end of the video. Guys, thanks for watching. God bless. Tight lines. We'll see you guys on the water.